Today we're going to remove the motor from the John Deere 160. Now you got a couple of bolts in the front. Remove this hood on this one. This is a little different model than the last half inch. that hood. Now you're going to take a 7 16 wrench and take this terminal off the battery. Now I got these little brackets on each side and just taking them out of the way. Half inch on those also. That's when you don't have to remove nothing for the muffler. Get rid of this uh, choke throttle cable, it's 5 16 You're going to have to remove the gas line also, plug that off if it has any gas in it. Now you're going to need a half inch to remove this starter wire on there. wires you got to fish through the other side unplug it get them out of the way now it's got a different type of bolt system on this motor you're gonna need a wrench on the top Now we're going to take a look at this clutch pulley underneath. You're going to need a 5 8 socket to remove that. Sometimes they get stuck on there and you'll have to get a little more powerful wrench. Now you can see that pulley's moving down nice and easy on this one. You don't always have that on them. Sometimes they seize up. Mostly due to people leaving them outside instead of storing them in the garage. Now you got a wire you got to pull through here and disconnect the one that's attached to the clutch pulley. And get that out of the way. You just take a little screwdriver and stick it in there to open that plastic up a little bit. It makes it a little easier. I got a little bracket that I'm taking off out of the way here also. It's all half inch underneath there, except for the clutch pulley. Now 
you're only going to have four bolts underneath here. Sometimes they can be tucked back in the spots where you're not going to see them too good. But this one here, that pulley's right in the way. You could always take that off first if you wanted to. thing off these jack stands and try to pull the motor out. Now here's some of the parts along with the motor that we're going to salvage for inventory. Got some tires, transmission, front axle, motor, and a couple other little odds and end parts to put up for inventory. It's the John Deere 160. 